So I'm a little late on starting this one up. Sometimes, you know, life gets in the way. You get kind of into a rut where you just don't want to play video games, but it's fine. We move past those moments. I uh, never played Advance Wars. I had a Game Boy Advance, but I think I've mentioned before, more, mostly my Game Boy Advance was my Pokemon machine. So I had a couple of games on it, but you know, mainly Pokemon. Uh, Advance Wars always looked interesting though, and I'm interested in the reboot camp, as they decided to call this. Uh, I know it's a much beloved series, and I know I, I am, me personally, the master of strategy, so clearly I'm going to have a grand time here, and no issues will occur. Um, so I did some quick, like, testing stuff. Uh, welcome to Advanced Wars. 1 plus 2 equals Reboot Camp. I am Rogue. You know my name. It's an honor to meet my you. Name's Nell. Hi, I'm Nell. I'm CEO in the Orange Star Army. Thank you, Nell. Hey, is this your first time playing Advanced Wars? It is, it is but I all you oh, do is tell me what the menus do. see you back. One of my jobs is to provide lessons on how to play the game. I also offer strategic advice along the way. Thank you, Nell. Nell decided not to speak anymore. I hate that so much. Like, it's great to have the voice actors voice act, but then when it goes, like, between them, it bothers me. Since you've already played before, you can think of this lesson as more of a quick refresher. Ah, so you are gonna tell me anyways. That said, I might even show you a thing or two that you didn't know, so make sure to listen carefully before we get started. Let me tell you a bit about some... Versus, uh, this is like exactly what saying yes was. Uh, you can play together with friends on the console, but apparently it doesn't go online. Or like you can't do just normal, I don't know, there's some weird stuff. You can also play wirelessly with multiple consoles. As long as everyone has a copy. Main gameplay is campaign, that's crazy. The stories of the world wars. Why was this game delayed again? Let's not talk about that. There are other modes too, but we'll uh, tell you about those Let's later. Move out. Yeah, we'll we'll move out. I, so basically, it just told us I, she did do a quicker version, but it just told us what these are, and most of them are blacked out. So we're going into the campaign. We're going in there. Uh, also, you can technically play Advanced Wars too, but it tells you that's not a good idea. <laughs> they say don't do it. We'll play classic, because I'm not a baby. Does it say it just says for experienced players? Looking for a challenge. Yeah, I'm not going to regret this at all. So, basically we are going... This is going to basically... Yeah, uh, tutorialize on how to play the game. I kind of looked through it, and it, it's... I mean, three things, it's kind of long. I think we're going to... I'm going to sit through it to, you know make sure I retain the information, but we'll, we'll skip it for the, the playthrough. Congratulations! I did it! My lessons are now complete! I'm ready to take on anything! And just in time too, I'm getting reports of enemy forces of Invader Orange Star. One last thing to remember, keep an eye out on your stats, but luck plays a small part in your every battle, keep this in mind. And I know it'll do us proud, I'll see you around! I did it. So I'll just explain poorly how to play the game when we get into, like, a real mission. Nice work! With that, your field training is now complete. Congratulations, Ro- I don't like that you know my name. So how was it? Did you happen to learn something new? As you may know, that just covers the basics. Since there's more to learn, I'll still be around to offer advice as you work your way through the missions. Probably to introduce new units. I know there's airplanes. Anyway, it looks like we're ready to get started with the story! We did it! The prologue. It's here. The skirmishes between two neighboring countries, Orange Star and Blue Moon, were thought to have been merely stories of the past. That is, until the day Blue Moon attacked without warning. Rogue, you will guide the commanding officers of Orange Star in defending their territory and fight to uncover the motive behind the sudden ambush. Our story now begins with Nell, Commander-in-Chief of Orange Star, as she trains a new recruit. I'm Andy. I thought I was rogue. This isn't the time to be lazing oh, about. Uh, uh, 
I'm up. What's the drill this time? That's just Ash Ketchum, right? <gasps> like, <laughs> he's gonna get a Pikachu because he stayed in bed too soon for too long. Uh, no drill. We've got a real situation. It's that Madman Olaf. Frozen? Or that is, I mean, it's the Commander-in-Chief of Blue Moon. Our intel indicates that he's ordered an invasion on Orange Star. <sighs> Blue Moon? Pushaw. I thought they were through being the bad guys. I mean, maybe we're the bad guys. You ever thought about that, Andy? We assigned a recon team to investigate, and they just sent word that Blue Moon now holds Coral Fortress. We can't afford to lose that territory. <laughs> wow! Right on! I finally get to do something. I'm gonna lead the way and save the day! I can't wait to see some action! Oh no you don't! Not yet anyway. You need to listen and learn first. Our top priority is rest re securing Coral Fortress for Orange Star. Watch closely, okay? Let's a go! Oh. He's a big man. Elf has occupied Coral Fortress with the prize unit in tow. Take this opportunity to show Andy the ropes and tanks! gonna be a grand old time. I feel like we're still gonna get the tutorial, but now it's the prologue, so it's important. Tank Ops. Tanks OP. You see, OP means overpowered, not, you know, not military related. Medium tank. Olaf means business. Even with all our units, we'll need an airtight strategy to win. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. We need a strategy, a really good strategy. Now, what's a strategy again? Do you need me to explain? Um, uh, n no? I, like, uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna say yes. A strategy is a plan of attack. You don't win battles with just a show of force. Hope you've learned that by now. For the time being, we can ignore the medium tank. Just make sure not to move into its attack range. Remember that you can always check its unit's attack range by moving the cursor onto the unit and holding B. That's actually good to know. They didn't tell me that in the tutorial. Then let's make the most of our tank and mech units by using the defensive cover of cities and woods as we battle. Placing artillery... Okay, you're just gonna tell me exactly what to do, I'm sorry. Use the superior ranger at our advantage, plus the river protects us from all but the enemy's infantry. Ah. And we roll in and save the day! Hmm. hmm, perhaps, but only when it's strategically advantageous. Every battle is different, there's more than one way to win, you know. They need me to explain... Ugh. <laughs> no. They, they basically told us what the, uh, just, you know, the phrasing of that. Do you know what a victory is, Andy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know all that stuff. Let's go get them now. In the tutorial, they explained that basically we can take their HQ or get rid of all of their units. Um, so, I, I guess Nell mentioned it to us. Place the artillery here. We can only do... Maybe I should have just gone through the tutorial. We have a lot of units. Um, uh, most of our units, I believe tanks too. We have to be up close to the enemy to attack. Artillery is not the case, but we can only move or attack. I guess I could have seen if we had a place to move. Um, so if you're the scary one, I mean, you're guarding the HQ. I'm gonna just go for it. The biggest problem is this guy, but I can't do anything about you, and I don't know if we can really... Oh, you don't have range on that. I don't know how safe I want to be. I could technically go here. If I want to be safe, I could go here. Although I don't... Can I... Oh, I can backtrack. That's good. Um... So, some stuff they did not tell me. So, these guys are called mechs. They have less range. These guys are called infantry. I can I didn't remember, so I can veto over there. They can move fast. We can um put you in this for now. I don't actually know. It doesn't seem like there's much reason to take these bases. Oh also I can't because you already moved. I'm kind of winging it right now. Maybe leave you there. If we can go across rivers, I guess having someone move this way might be a good idea, because I'm sure you guys will try to move across rivers. I'm gonna go for it. I want 
to attack. So we just hit close. We attack. And we see what happens. You can see we have defenses, basically depending on what tile we're on will give us an, a bonus. So like forest, the city, mountain range will give us more defense. So we take less damage. And uh, that, that's like the gist of it. We'll figure it out as we go. I can have you cross. I might as well move everyone up, I think. I don't know how much I need to really worry about defending our base. But now I have no other options, so let's see how bad my turn was. Huh? So the Orange Star Army is launching a counterattack. On my new Coral Fortress. Really just gave up mid-sentence, huh? <laughs> I see you failed to notice my new weapon. No, no, we saw it. You'll soon tremble before the power of the mightiest ground forces ever. This will be a quick victory for Blue Moon. So that's what I wanted to do with the other guy. Oh no! Well, that's kind of convenient for me. That, um... You decided not to attack and instead move. I thought I was able. I thought this was able to attack. I guess they were scared. Oh, it can. It just doesn't show up with the same like threshold. Also, we can speed up. So that's great. Um, you don't seem to really want to move right now. And you guys are kind of pooping up, which is not what I expected. I want you, I think, to do this. And instead of... I don't know what taking a city will do for us. But if we can just kind of, you know, clean up a little bit, I think that would be very beneficial. I mean, I know that cities let us resupply. It, it has options. We can do stuff with the city. I guess I'll bring you up here. I don't I don't think supplying you does anything. There's like an ammo thing. It didn't really show me exactly what ammo is. I guess I can only attack eight times. I'll have to see what exactly that entails. Give it a view. You're probably the biggest threat we have right now. And, you know, removing units completely seems like a smart idea. We'll just move everyone else forwards for now, so we have them ready. I think we are in an okay spot. Because I don't think you guys will, will the tank might be an issue, but we'll worry about the tank when we worry about the tank. End turn. I mean, that tank's just going to get double teamed, so... I think it'll be okay. I, I don't... I don't know how much I should worry about the threat of the infantry. Oh no, we aren't going to be able to double team. The infantry is too powerful. Uh, yeah, they can't do anything. And also, we can counterattack, which is also nice. And you guys have to be close to actually get anything done. Excellent. My CO power is ready. All right, Andy, this is a real teaching moment, so listen up. The CO power meter is at the top corner of the screen. The meter fills up gradually over the course of any battle. When it fills up completely, it will start flashing. That means it's good to go. When the CO power is ready, you can activate it by selecting power from the map menu. But keep an eye on your enemy's CO power meter as well. They won't hesitate to use their own CO power against us. No. And now I'm confused. Where exactly does the CO power come from? Mm -hmm comes from the hearts of children all around the world. Well, it comes from inside of you, of course. The exhilarating exhilaration of battle kindles a flame of our special abilities. That fire ignites one's true talent can be unleashed. Huh? Well, a, a, a talented fire, but how does that? Never mind. Okay, then I'm ready to select power from the map menu and send Olaf's troops back in. I don't know how necessary that really is, but I'm gonna assume I need to do it. Can I just not? Ah, we'll do it. Intel? Okay, uh, uh, we can't. She refuses. Lucky 
Oh, meteors are crashing down. <laughs> now my units are lucky. That means they have a greater chance of dealing high damage in battle. So, crit chance. Is crit chance always a thing, or do we just have a higher chance now? But that's just my own CO power. Every CO is different, so you should adjust your strategy accordingly. You need the intel on your CO power, or even that of your opponents, just select CO on the map. If you meet a new CO, I recommend checking there. After all, knowledge is power. Let's... I wanted to do that before, and you refused me. Intel. Terms. <sighs> if you all enemy troops, I'll show you how it's done. That's not what I asked. But this just tells us everyone. It's on the field. Don't know how fuel works with infantry, but I'll, I'll worry about that when I have to worry about it. And that's just everything else, guys. I hope this is like everything. Okay. Wait, what's dive and rise? Wait a minute. Oh, I. You know what? It's probably boat related. Yeah, submarines. I got excited for a minute. Well bound CL with no weak points. They say she was born under a lucky star. Nell's units may randomly strike with up to tw plus 20 in firepower. Willful student. Down. No downtime. Nell's units may randomly strike with up to plus 60 to firepower. They also gain plus 10 to firepower and defense. Alright, so they have like a passer, and then they have a... A braggart whose tactical prowess has earned him respect, easily affected by the climate. He's strong in snow and weak in rain. Olaf's units ignore snow movement penalties, but rain affects them to the way snow does other units. Warm Boots hates rain clouds. Calls down snow increases movement cost for all units except its own. Olaf's units gain... Plus 10 to firepower and defense. And that's what their current meter is at, I guess. I'm guessing, what, does that build up like half a day kind of thing? Okay, got distracted. You are... So the thing is too, if I had this city, I would be able to resupply my tank. But currently... Tanks can't really take that. Um, yeah, we should go after you, I think. Dang. It's close to dealing with you. Uh, you don't have range? I could start moving you up to hopefully deal with the medium tank. Want to... Can I supply while... Oh, I can. Well, I have other people. Alright, so you didn't have any ammo, but this thing can supply ammo. So, we're good. We're doing good. No defense bonus in the river. Makes sense, it would be a non-advantageous spot to be in. Alright, I, I don't think the tank is in too much trouble. The uh, mechs shouldn't be able to move close enough to deal. And, I mean, this guy's surrounded. Although he did deal with many of our fellas. Oh, never mind. The mech was able to get close. Was it infantry or...? No, it was mech. Just the visual there didn't... ...look right to me. Uh, pup pup. Alright, so... Tank can't really do much. We can... ...just move it forward. You have a better spot to... I'm gonna have you start to capture. Again, I don't think it's really that beneficial at the moment. Something I maybe should have considered earlier, but I think we're doing okay. Move you some more.
Probably should have dealt with one specific um, group, actually, instead of strutting out our soldiers here, because we could have dealt with them immediately. If I, um, drop you off, can you move? Nope. As soon as you get dropped, you're out of commission. And this tank just doesn't seem to want to move, which I'm all for. Alright, so I made a little bit of a whoopsie there, but it shouldn't be too bad. I also think they're somewhat afraid. And units just being close to this actually supply it, so that's cool. That's not a spot I can go to. Man, the, the river really limits you, huh? Um, well, you can win, right? Yeah, you did it. Good job. Oh, that's not. I don't know why I thought that was close enough. I can't attack that. Uh, I think the mech would probably be bad for this. And also, I just blocked its path, so that's good. Tank. It's probably not going to be great. But just get some damage off. Oh, the tank's dead. Regrettable. Also, this guy could have made it over here. Probably should have done that first. Would have would have probably done the trick. What's your Okay, so I'm gonna assume the mountain is probably impassable by uh vehicles. So my main hope would be to... I don't know, you guys will just... Capture the base. Why not? I would say we could arguably try to just take the HQ. And that would be fine. But I, um... I think... This guy's gonna be a big problem. So I don't want to... I just don't want to be anywhere where it can tank me. Oh no! Let the winds of war bring snow. Blizzard! You know, I just keep looking at Olaf and it makes me wonder why this game was delayed again. So, that unit seems fine. I would have to, with this I would want to try to get as close as I can, which seems to really just be here. Although I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to hit it from there. So I don't know if I want to just start risking, like, I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button, so I just did nothing, but the snow's gone. <laughs> Blast, so we must now let the enemy overwhelm us. Yeah, that's a good way to deal with the snow. Just don't do anything. Man, that just doesn't want to move at all. I could just surround it. I just want to get, like, the closest I can. I think my best bet would be, like, down here. I know that... That's so close, too. Might be overthinking things. But I don't want to, like... I don't think I need supplies anymore. I don't want to make stupid mistakes so soon. That would be embarrassing as I accidentally skipped a turn. I 
And the amount of units you have will determine how many, um... City points you take down. See, the thing that sucks is... Having to take account how the AI is gonna act. If it's gonna just leave the tank there and do nothing with the... This is, um... Might be regrettable, but this is gonna be the most aggressive I can be at the moment. Just, you know, overwhelm. And hope that this works out. Yeah, capture it with your three units. It'll work. I keep wanting to press B to end turn. So it'll it'll attack, but it should only be able to attack one thing. And it decided to go after you. But now our artillery can deal with it. Oh my god, that is not pleasant. That wasn't pleasant at all. Let's hope this is good. Alright, that's not bad. You're not gonna do much to it, but... Again, overwhelm with things that are in the way. Yeah, I get one unit. Yeah, everyone's dead. Sacrifices have to be made. And then you can try to take the base. As long as it doesn't attack you, we should be good with that. Again. Overwhelmed. You only have so many things you can attack now. Uh, yeah, as long as it didn't attack the unit that's going for HQ. Because if that even got like one person down, we would have to waste another turn. Tragic. I want to see if we can maybe beat the tank. And if not, we have HQ covered. We did it! Wahoo! Yep, Wahoo! Really let Olaf have it now. No time for celebration. Olaf has access to medium tanks, and our current tactics won't suffice. I'll have to ask Central Command to ship us some new units, like medium tanks. What? Whoa. Even my medium tank was defeated. Curse that now. Hmm, but it doesn't look like... Oh, he's just making noises. Doesn't look like she has any air units ready to use yet. Haha, -ha, I'm sure I'll enjoy our next encounter. If only I had brought air units to our first one. Could have been a... Great job. Easy victory. You completed the first mission. Yay. Let's go, A rank. I'd imagine not sacrificing soldiers would help to get a not bad rank, but I, I just want to win. Sacrifices have to happen. Good work, you successfully cleared the first mission. I figured you'd have no trouble. I want to celebrate this accomplishment by giving you a special gift. I would like to present you your very own ID card. Tag to me! Look at that. This tag will track your accomplishments. Congratulations. Right now the tag is empty, but as you continue to clear missions, you'll earn medals. Besides clearing missions, there's other accomplishments that can contribute to earning medals as well. By the way, as a holder of this tag, you are now authorized to access two new modes. First, you can now visit the War Room. There, you can hone your skills with a series of challenging battles. Second, you can now engage in head-to-head -head battles with friends anywhere and online. Check out both the War Room and online on the main menu when you get a chance. So I think you can only play against friends. You can't just go online, which is kind of a shame. I also think, because there's a whole thing with Advanced War where you can make your own maps. Oh wait! Any! I've just received word that Olaf has moved in on the Alara Bay. Uh... Guess he's not gonna give up so easily. Hmm. It appears that's not our only problem. Orange Star has hit a snag in its heavy armor development. Blue Moon, on the other hand, seems to have more than enough tanks. It's almost like they invaded us because they knew they had stuff. Yikes! Can we defeat Olaf without any tanks of our own? Pulled some strings and had some helicopters, anti-air, and missile units sent down from the front lines. 
Although, that doesn't give us all them that much additional firepower. Nevertheless, with careful planning, I'm confident that we can drive away that pompous old... I mean, that we can force Olaf to withdraw. It's she hates him. It's a job, but somebody's gotta do it. I like that they gave Andy that voice line. I also like that Nell did not acknowledge what Andy said. So I know a, a big thing with Advance Wars, you can make your own maps, but I believe you can't actually just play those online. You can only do it with, like, friends locally or something. Strong front on the Alora Bay. Let's uh, teach Andy and how helicopters can lift us to victory. So yeah, these we're still in tutorial range, but at least I have more control. 